H and K, you guys know the logo, you know the company. They're synonymous with some of the most recognizable firearms in history, such as the MP5. They are a formidable German defense contractor. And that's always kind of been their mindset for as long as I've known them. Uh, it's defense-minded, defense-produced, uh, and defense-marketed products. And H&K USA, or what the products that kind of came to the United States market, was always somewhat of an afterthought. You take that mindset and you layer it on top of layers of bureaucracy within the company over in Germany. You take some German export laws and you take the ATF point system for importation of firearms into the United States. All that added up to U.S. consumers, the U.S. retail and commercial market, wanting more from H&K, but we've just never really received it. That's kind of up until now. Just in the past maybe couple years, you start to see a little bit of change in H&K. They brought the SP5 to market. People have always wanted that, which is a pistol version of the MP5. And just in September, they released where they're putting a lot more emphasis on the H&K USA segment. So they're going to do a lot more research, a lot more investment into this. They promised three new platforms between now and February of 2025. And this is the first platform that they are bringing out. This is the first American produced, designed, and dedicated platform for the U.S. retail commercial model. This is the brand new H&K CC9. All right, nine millimeter. Obviously concealed carry is pretty hot. We all know that out there. It's a nine millimeter concealed carry micro compact style pistol, high capacity, 3.3 inch barrel, front and rear cocking serrations, optics cut for the RSMC footprint, tritium sight, also has the pick and tinny rail, polymer frame, which you guys are familiar with, comes with two mags. It's a 10 and 12 round mag. The 12 round mag is what you see in there. It does give you the ability to fully put your entire hand on there with the 12 round mag. This is a true ambi gun two out of the box, which a lot of the competitors are not. So you have the slide release on the left and right. You also have a magazine release that is ready for left or right operate, uh, right handed operation out of the box, meaning you're not having to switch it. From the left, you can actuate it. And from the right, you can also actuate it. Same thing with the slide release. Take down lever. Does come with interchangeable back straps. One's on the gun, another one comes with it in the box. Nice little undercut there on the polymer frame. But as you can see, it's also, you know, almost everything's rounded on it. Everything's somewhat beveled on it. I don't know if the camera picks it up that well, but it's a nice, smooth platform, light texturing in the right spots. Just kind of a departure from what h has done before. And check out the trigger. I'll do it with my left hand from a micro compact standpoint. They say this is pretty much the same trigger as the VP9. So if you own a VP9 out there, you know this trigger, but a little bit of take up, no over travel. The gun would cycle, reset. Pretty decent trigger. Obviously, H and K is known for reliability, durability, uh, and that's no exception with the CC9. You know, this is a pallet of a hundred thousand rounds right here. They claim to have used almost seven hundred fifty thousand rounds in total testing. That's equal to roughly eight pallets of this uh, Federal nine millimeter that it's sitting on here. So that, that's that's some pretty serious testing. If you want to see more about the testing, jump on their website. They talk about all the mud, the sand. They have videos and all that good stuff. Uh, no sense of us going in and trying to reduplicate that because they've done a well enough job. Size comparison wise, SIG 365 up here at the top, which is kind of the originator of the whole micro compact uh, stack and a half ultra compact style pistols. The Hellcat, Smith & Wesson and M&P Shield Plus. And there's the H and K CC9. As you can see, for the most part, they are all in the same ballpark, size-wise. So it's 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 going to be a definitely a competitor if you're considering a uh, micro compact, high capacity concealed carry piece. I've watched a couple other videos, YouTube videos on it, and the only complaint that I've seen so far, we're going to take it and shoot it here in a second. But the only uh, some of the H and K fanboys out there are really wanting the paddle release on there, and they actually kind of brought out a teaser one of these here. They showed this pistol at Enforce uh, over in Germany, I think back in 2023. They had a model out called the SFP9 CC, and it uh, had the paddle release on it, but it wasn't as nice as this gun. It wasn't as contoured. Didn't have the undercuts. Uh, just wasn't as pretty as this gun is right here. But I will tell you, I believe H and K properly introduced this pistol with the push button release. I know some people are going to disagree with me, but from a retailer standpoint, I do know other manufacturers such as Walther who has had some models out in the past where they were had a, either a push button option or a paddle option, paddle magazine release option. And by far, 
the push button models outsold uh, probably 100 to 2 compared to the to the paddle release. So, um, in my personal opinion, the push button release, especially in the Ambi setup that they have here, is going to be the best seller. All right, we showed you all the features. Let's go shoot this brand new CC9. Federal 9 millimeter, 115 grain brass casing, full metal jacket. We're going to start off with the 10 round mag. And some of you might ask why they come with a 10 round mag. Uh, you know, for concealed carry, there are some of you guys out there that want the smallest footprint possible. Uh, even with the 10 round mag, I pretty much get three or two and a half fingers on there. It does hang off there. 12 round mag just for comparison, real quick. Easy full size grip on it. But if you're wanting the smallest footprint in this HK CC9, 10 round mag's way to go. All right, first shots. Ten yards, standard home defense range. Again, that's uh, first shots out of the gun for us. We don't take it. Uh, you know, we're not professional shooters here. Uh, we are professional gun retailers and sellers. That's what we do. Uh, but we're probably not your standard YouTube guys out there that uh, fire thousands of rounds down the range. We just try to give you a average shooter's perspective of what to expect with the uh, the gun out of the box for the first uh, 20 to 30 rounds. All right, using the slide release again, gone to the 12 round, a little bit more grip on it. Didn't hold back on the last round, but I think my finger, I could already feel it, it was riding on that slide release. So that was user induced. And this slide release, it's a, you know, on a lot of the other models there, we've noticed that it, uh, somewhat recessed on some of the competitors. This one actually sticks out just a hair bit more. It actually has a little bit of a ledge there, if you could see. But you can also see, you know, just a second, second round or second mag, groups have improved and getting better. Also, H&K, that does come with a nice little soft case, which we didn't tell you about. And like I said, we told you about the extra palm swells. So the gun comes nicely equipped. Tritium front sight. Let's put some more rounds down range. Here's another surprising fact on that H&K, or on this H&K, the CC9, is the price point on it is pretty much in line with the competitors. It's in line with SIG, in line with... Um, the Hellcat, obviously the Smith & Wesson's a little bit uh, more economically priced point, but from the, the higher end uh, European style manufacturing pricing that you're normally accustomed to from H&K, this thing's a little bit more in line than uh, in price point wise than a lot of their other pistols that they have come out with lately. You no, know, usually you're paying a premium for H&K and this is not a cheap pistol. I think it has a 600 and some dollar MSRP. Uh, obviously it's gonna be a little cheaper in the stores uh, over six, it's over $600 MSRP, I don't know exactly, but uh, that's that's pretty standard for a high quality concealed carry ultra compact pistol out there with the optics cut. All right, another 10. <laughs> 10 more, I made sure not to ride that uh, slide release. 12 round mag. All right, like I said, H&K is promising to come out with an additional two more platforms sometime between now and uh, next February 2025, March 2025. So, and, and my thought just is, you know, if this is the beginning of the new platforms, the new emphasis on the United States market, uh, U.S. production, we're bound to see some interesting and wanted and demanded items from H&K. In the meantime, if you're thinking about buying a concealed carry pistol, and you've considered maybe the 365, the Hellcat, all the other competitors. Now you have one more to consider. Definitely the H&K CC9 should be in your consideration. And if you are going to consider it, please consider us. Uh, go to either you know our website, kygunco.com. We also have two retail, retail store locations in central Kentucky. 
And uh, we would appreciate your business and your consideration. We have 80 hardworking some employees here in Central Kentucky, and you guys, our customers and our viewers, you help, uh, help put food on the table for us, and we appreciate that. And thanks for being KY Gun Code customers.